In this video, we'll be talking about some of the tools that are associated with the Edit Polygon modifier in the program 3ds Max. So after you've converted your object into an editable poly, we have a lot of tools that are associated with certain subcomponent modes, like vertex, edges, or polygons, for example, uh, that are specific to that particular subcomponent, allow us to edit our object a little bit more detailed here. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Edit Vertices, which if I select the Vertice method, if I scroll down my modifier, it shows me my edit vertices menu. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the remove tool. So if I select a vert vertex on my model and choose remove, that deletes the vertex and all of the surrounding edges. So if I undo here, I'll show you some of the other ones. So if I select that same vertex but choose break this time, what that really does is, when I select that same vertex, it actually split that one vertice into several different vertices depending on how many faces are connected to that one vertice. So I can then pull out multiple faces here and show you uh, that there are multiple vertexes, vertex points. Just undo that so I can show you some of the other ones. So there's also the extrude tool and this works with vertex as well as with edge and face. So if I select the, ver the extrude tool and select a vertex if I drag this up and down with my mouse button here, it allow me to be able to extrude that vertex out and actually creates four more vertices in the place of that and create some faces also. So we're creating exactly from the center. So that's the extrude tool. So underneath that is the chamfer tool, which is similar to the extrude tool. But if I select the chamfer tool and if I click and drag on that uh, vertex, it actually pulls four vertices out, but it does not extrude that vertex out. So it's similar to extrude, but does not extrude the face out, or the vertices out. But it does allow me to split that face up, or that vertex up, into four vertices. So another tool is the weld tool. So say, for instance, I want to close these four vertices back together, or combine these four vertices back together. I could use the weld tool, or even I could use the target weld tool. But the weld tool, I have to use... Uh, a certain threshold, as right now it's very low, and depending on which version of 3ds Max you have, I have 2011 right now. So uh, it's a little bit different with the menu, but if I select the little button beside the weld, it'll pop up with the menu in 2011. It's right on the object, but in earlier versions it's kind of off to the side. In a separate little win min window. So the threshold is really what I uh, need to be concerned here with. So right now it's very low at 0.1. It won't work at this level, but if I turn this up to a higher level, say 20. Uh, and as you hit enter, it automatically shows you the change here. So it shows me that that was high enough, and it merged those vertices together. Now I can click the check mark, and those vertices are back to one vertex. So there's also the target weld option, which is a little bit different and kind of easier if you're uh, spot welding some places on your model here, uh, but a little bit more difficult if you have a lot of vertices that you need to converge into one. So the target weld tool, uh, if I select the target weld, turn that on, then over here on my model, I click on a vertice and I drag to a corresponding vertice. It doesn't work if it's caddy cornered, uh, but it will work if it's a vertice that is connected by an edge. So if I click and drag, it'll have a dotted line. Then I can drag over to a vertice beside of it, and it kind of welds that vertice to the edge that I, or to the vertex that I selected last or clicked off of. So I can do the same thing with this one right here click and drag and let go and it will merge those vertices together. So that's the target well. It's also the connect tool. So this works for some of the other subcomponent methods as well. So if you're ever in a tool like I was in and you accidentally click or you're ready to get out of this tool, all you have to do is right click and that deselects that tool. This works for any tool within 3ds Max. All you have to do is right select and that deselects the tool. There's also the connect tool. With the connect tool, if I select some vertices first, so you do have to select more than one vertice, at least a face uh, all the way around. And if I choose connect, it will create an edge in between those two uh, or those four vertices that I had selected. So this is the connect tool is actually works better for uh, edges, uh, but you can also use this for vertices as well. So next we'll talk about editing the edges. So if I move over to the edge mode here, and if I scroll down to the edit edges. I'm able to actually edit the edges, similar to the way I'm, I edited the vertices, but now I have separate options here, separate tools as well. So I have remove, where I can come in here and select some of the edges here and remove those, similar to the way I remove those 
uh, vertices earlier. Some other options is the extrude. So if I select an edge and click the extrude tool, now if I drag over that edge and drag up and down, it'll extrude that edge similar to the way I extruded the vertices earlier. So I can do it inward or outward. I also have chamfer, which will work similar to the way the vertex worked. So it pulls the edges out, creates new edges, but doesn't extrude it out like it would with the extrude tool. So ones that are helpful for edge uh, is the bridge tool. We'll come back to that one in a little bit, but uh, I would showed you the connect tool earlier. Connect tool works really well if you have multiple edges selected that are not connected, uh, and it will create a connecting edge in between that. So ones like this right here. Uh, so it doesn't really work if you have a loop, but it works better if you have a ring selected. So the ones that are uh, in a column together, now if I click the connect tool, it will allow me to create an edge in between that. So this is kind of like a split edge ring tool. So also another subcomponent is polygons, not the ones you probably use a lot. So if I over go down uh, over to the command panel and scroll down and choose the edit polygon me menu, I can extrude a face, similar to the way I extruded an edge or a vertex. That's probably where you use the extrude to more. I also select the face and choose outline, and it'll create an outline of it. Works better if it's on a corner of an object. Now if I move this out, you'll be able to see it's similar to extruding. You can also select the face and choose bevel. This bevel tool works similar to the extrude tool. First it allows me to extrude it out. And then the second click will be actually beveling the edge either in or out. That's a nice tool. The next one if I select a face or a polygon and choose inset, it'll do the same thing uh, as the chamfer option does for edge and vertex by not extruding the edges out, but actually just moving them in. So some of the other options is bridge. One way we can do this is use another submenu, some other shapes over here. Which if I move farther down in my modifier tab, I'm able to see my edit geometry menu. So maybe I want to uh, combine objects together like I've done here. I combine these two objects together by the use of the attach button. So you may want to combine this box to these two over here. So all I have to do is select one of them and under the edit geometry click attach. And then all I have to do next is select the what I want it to attach to. So I select the first box, click attach, and then click on what I want to attach it to. So here's where that bridge option will come in handy with. I can actually bridge edges and even bridges, bridge faces. Let's move up and I'll go back to the edge menu. In order to bridge edges, all you have to do is have two open edges. It doesn't work if a face is closed, but if faces are open, like they are here, you can choose that bridge tool. And if I come over here to an edge, I can drag an edge and there's that same dotted line. And drag this over to another edge and it will connect that edge or bridge that edge together. And I can actually do this more around here. and move these around so it bridges all the way around. So that creates a connecting edge, so now I have a connecting pro object here. This will also work for the polygon mode. If I select the polygon like this one up here, excuse me, clicked off of that for a second. Let's zoom up here. So maybe I want to have a connecting box that's going between these two boxes. So if I scroll back down and choose bridge, and if I select this face, and drag all the way up to a face above that, it'll create a box all the way around. Or it'll actually bridge those faces. I can do the same thing here and bridge these over here. So under that Edit Geometry tab, I also have some other options like Detach and Collapse and Create. And I also have an option of Cut, where I can come in here and actually cut my own edges and vertices however I want to. I can either start on a vertex or I can start on an edge and it will create uh, an edge and a vertices every time I click. That's another interesting tool. So the way to get out of these is of course right click over it and it will deselect all that object. So there's some different ways to be able to edit a polygon uh, with under the edit polygon modifier.